hi welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going i'm going to be discussing on how to install azure active directory connect so to be able to synchronize your on-prem devices and users account groups and other um, uh, objects to your office 365 or your azure active directory you will need to install the azure add a connect on your on-premises server so Azure Active Connect is actually a Microsoft tool which is designed to meet and accomplish your hybrid hybrid identity goals. So what we, what can you actually use your um, Azure Active Connect to do? You can use it to actually synchronize your password. You can actually use it to synchronize users' um, devices or synchronize um, users' account and synchronize other objects from your on-premises to your office tree. Six, five. And also, I think one of the major reasons why you why you want to use your Azure Add Connect from your on-premises to sync to your Office 365 is to actually integrate your on-premises directories with Azure with Azure Add, which makes users more productive by providing a common identity for accessing both cloud and on-premises resources. So first of all, to, to be able to, to install um, Azure Add Ad Connect, you will need to go to your Office 365 Admin Center. And from there, we need to go to Azure. Just click on Azure Active Directory. So it's going to take you to your main dashboard of Azure Active Directory Admin Center. So we have to, we have two options. Here you can see we have the recommended sync with Windows Azure Add. So I just click on Sync Users and Group from On-Premises. So it will take me automatically to this page which says Azure Add Connect and click download Azure Add Connect. But should, should in case you are in a different page of your admin center, I can as well just click my Azure Active Directory. And if I go to see here, you have the option under manage Azure Add Connect. And here then we can click the download Azure Add Connect. So I'll, I'm going to download this in English. Here you have some other options, details, and system requirements. So I'm going to actually just click the download, which is going to download Azure Add Connect. It's about small file. It's about 96.5 megabytes. So click Save. So the file has been downloaded. So I'm going to just double click on the file to open it. So click Run. So it's preparing to install. So the file is uh, um, Azure the Connect is being installed at the moment, so it's going to take some just few seconds. So after the installation completes, it's, uh, it will open the Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connect automatically, which is welcome to Azure Add Connect. So what I need to do is just to click on the license agreement and click continue. So we can as well decide to use the Express settings for this environment because I'm using a test environment or we can actually go for a customized um, installation. So let me just select the customized installation and let's see what we have there. So we have some other options here. We can specify a custom installation location using an existing SQL server. But for this environment, I don't have an SQL server. So I don't also want to customize my installation location. I just want to select the default installation which um, Azure, Azure AD Connect provides for me. So I'm going to just select install to start the installation. So what I'll be doing is I'll be stopping this video actually and then continue again when the installation process has gone to the next step. So after downloading the required component, so the next step is we need to actually, for the user's sign-in, we need to select the options or the sign-in method we want to actually use. So we have some different options here. So I'm not going to go through these options, what they actually mean. But for this environment, I think for most, uh, even uh, if you are working in an enterprise environment, you'll be selecting the password hash synchronization. And yeah, when you click here, you can see these options. It says, let me just select let me select this. This option allows users to sign in, sign into the cloud using the same password they use on premises. So, which means that you can as well sign in to your on premises device and also to uh, in on, uh, on cloud um, premises using the same password from Active 
directory so we should, able, we should also sell, um, just check the enable single sign-on with this option enable users on the corporate network to get a single sign-on experience when accessing cloud service from your domain join desktop machines so click next here it says enter your Azure Ad um, Active Directory Global Administrator credentials. So here you should enter a um, um, credentials which you use in your Office 365 that has the global admin. So I've already registered the following domain name. Let's see. So then enter your password and click next. So it's connecting to Microsoft Online to verify if your credentials is correct. So you can see that my credentials are correct. So on the next step, we need to connect your directory. So what you need to do here is need to add the directory. So let me just add the directory account. So I'm going to actually add an account, which I'll be adding my account from my, my local enterprise domain account. So I'll be using the following account. So let's and it will be like um, kelvin.johnson which is an enterprise domain admin so I'm going to enter my password and then click OK so it's trying to verify if that is correct so it is correct so just click next here in the next step which says in the Azure add, um, add a signing configuration you can see that I have two domain name here you can see the first one which is not verified which is sell um the previous HTLS on microsoft.com is a domain name but this is not verified but the second one which is a verified account which i told you i bought a domain name um from a pro provider so when i verified it in office 365 and you can see that it has been verified so what i'm going to actually just do is, is that i'm going to continue with the account that is not verified just to continue with matching all upn services to verified to verified domains and click next so here we're going to sync all domains and organization units so you also have the option to actually just click on the selected um, domains and reuse but for this test environment we're going to sync all domains and reuse. so click next here it says um, users are, pre are, pre are represented only on all across directories and let Azure manage the source anchor so I'm going to just leave this on the default selection and click next so what we're going to do is actually we're going to synchronize all users and devices. So you may decide to actually synchronize, for example, you want to synchronize um, some forest or groups, but for now I'm going to synchronize all users and devices. So just click next. So also we want to actually um, check the password right back. So when a user changes password in um, Office 365 or in Azure Active Directory, the account, the, the, the password should actually synchronize with your on-premises Active Directory as well, you know, because if you change your password in uh, Active Directory, it's going to synchronize to Office 365 automatically. But if you don't actually configure this password right back, users that change their password in Office 365 will not be able to synchronize. The password this, the password changes will not synchronize right back to on-premises. So just select this and click Next. And mind you, to actually um, enable the single sign-on which we actually selected, we need to enter a domain administrator account to configure your on-premise for us. So let me just click on the enter credentials here, and here I'm going to just provide my, uh, let me just select the my domain name and enter a domain account and my password and click OK. Here you can see the uh, it has been verified and it's correct, so click next. So to run up the installation or the configuration of Azure Active Directory Connect, so it's been we have been asked to actually start the synchronization process when configuration complete. So you can just check this and leave the enable staging mode just uncheck that, and if it has been, but definitely it will not be checked. Just leave the start synchronization process and click install. So the installation is going to take some process. I will stop the video and come back again when the installation has been completed. So after the installation complete. Just click exit and um, I'm going to stop this video. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to configure hybrid Azure AD join. 
because when you install your Azure AD Connect, you should also configure your hybrid Azure AD join so that users should be able to use their Office 365 and their on-premises um, AD accounts and your Azure AD to be able to log on to their device. So my name is Kelvin Johnson. So please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to comment on my video or just send me a personal message and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. Please you can keep you can click on the link below to actually watch the next video on how to configure hybrid Azure AD join. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.